Watch this. This was created by Neural Frames, which let you match visuals with music beats. So, in this video, I'll show you a step-by-step -step process to create such viral AI-generated music videos using Suno AI and Neural Frames. The links to all the tools will be in the description. So let's get started. First, we need to generate our music track. And for that, we're using Suno and I. Go to the Suno website, and after logging in, type in your music idea as a prompt. If you're struggling to come up with an idea, you can ask ChatGPT for help. Just enter a general concept, and ChatGPT will generate a detailed music prompt for you. Once you have that, copy it, paste it into Suno AI, and hit Generate. Within seconds, Suno AI will create two songs for you. The best part? Suno AI gives you 50 credits that refresh daily, so you can experiment as much as you want. It will generate two different songs based on your prompt, and the total cost will be 10 credits. Listen to both, and pick the one that fits your vision best. Once you've chosen your track, download it. Before moving on, we need to prepare for the video generation process in Neural Frames. Since Neural Frames creates videos using multiple frames, we need prompts that match our song lyrics. To make this easier, I copied the lyrics from the right side of Suno AI and went back to ChatGPT. Here's the prompt I used to generate the necessary image descriptions for the frames. Hi, I am going to make a music video using AI, which will be presented through frames. I need multiple image prompts to generate those frames using AI, and they must strictly match my lyrics. Each frame will last 5 seconds, so please provide prompts accordingly. Here are the lyrics. ChatGPT provided me with a detailed set of image prompts, each one carefully matching a specific line of my song but I also needed something more. Negative prompts to refine the AI output and make sure it looked just right. So, I generated those too. Negative prompts help remove unwanted elements, like blur, distortion, or overly abstract visuals, things that might make the video look off. Now, it's time to move to Neural Frames. Go to the Neural Frames website, log in, start a new project. And now we're ready to create our first frame. Take the first prompt generated by ChatGPT and paste it into the prompt bar in Neural Frames. You'll notice an option called Pimp My Prompt. This lets the AI enhance your prompt based on its internal model. If you want the AI to refine your description further, you can use this feature. Once that's done, paste the negative prompt we generated earlier. Now, it's time to choose a style reference. This step is optional, but I highly recommend it. It helps maintain a consistent artistic theme throughout your video. I found a style reference I really liked and selected it because it gave off the vibe of Van Gogh's paintings, which was exactly what I was going for. Neural Frames also provides a strength adjustment bar for the style reference, letting you control how much influence it has over the final look. I set mine to 60% just enough to keep the Van Gogh inspired style strong, but not overpowering. Now, set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. Since we're creating a standard music video format, click Generate, and Neural Frames will create your first frame. You'll be presented with four AI generated images. Take a moment, look at each one, and pick the best one that fits your vision. Now, Let's upload our music track. Double-click the area below where it says, double-click to upload the track, and select the song you generated with Suno AI. Neural Frames also offers built-in music, but since we already have our own track, we'll stick with that. With the track uploaded, it's time to generate the animation frames. This is where our visuals truly come to life. But before we hit generate, we need to tweak some settings to get the best results. First, find the Image Preset drop-down menu. I kept mine on default, 
because it already matched the style I was going for. Then, I adjusted the camera settings made the frame a little more horizontal, reduced the tilt, and added a bit of vertical animation to create a more fluid motion. For AI effects, I fine-tuned the strength, edge echo, and smoothness just enough to make the visuals look polished and professional. Once everything was set, I clicked Create and watched as neural frames started generating the animation. I repeated this process, continuing to refine and adjust, until I had 20 seconds of video ready. Now, let's take a quick preview and see how it all looks. Next, we need to fine-tune the modulation settings. This step is crucial to making sure our visuals sync perfectly with the beat. Modulation settings allow us to make the video react dynamically to the music, adding an extra layer of motion and rhythm. For the modulation shape, I set it to sawtooth. This creates a sharp, rhythmic effect that follows the beat closely. Then, I enabled BPM sync so that every movement stays perfectly in time with the music. The frequency was set to 0.4. This controls how often the motion shifts, keeping it smooth and natural. For the modulation target, I went with smooth, ensuring seamless transitions between frames, and for amplitude, I left it on default. This gave me a nice balance without making the movements too intense. Once you apply these settings, and click Create. You'll immediately see the visuals moving smoothly with the beat. Now, let's export the final video. Click the Export option in the top right corner and download your AI-generated music video. And that's it. You've successfully created a full AI-generated music video using Suno AI and Neural Frames. It's a powerful tool and a great alternative to noisy AI, which was recently discontinued. The best part, Neural Frames offers a free trial, so you can test it out without any upfront cost. And if you want to create even more high-quality music videos, they have a $19 per month plan that gives you 1,000 credits, allowing for more flexibility and creative freedom. So check out Neural Frames today using the link in the description. And for another simple tutorial to make viral radio jingles, watch this video next.